The Appalachian State Mountaineers climbed above rival and number 24 ranked Georgia Southern Eagles at Kid Brewers Stadium on Black Saturday, breaking App's four game overall and home losing streaks and giving Georgia Southern its worst Southern Conference loss since 2009 when they fell to the Mountaineers at Kid Brewer 52 16. Georgia Southern scored in their first drive with a nine yard rush into the end zone by junior quarterback Jarek McKinnon. Freshman place kicker Young Ho Koo brought in the extra point, and the Eagles took the lead a little less than halfway into the first quarter. A rush by Georgia Southern freshman quarterback Kevin Ellison ended in the fumble forced by ASU sophomore defensive back Doug Middleton. The Eagles recovered the loose ball for a total gain of 26 yards. ASU sophomore quarterback Cameron Bryant was offensively on point, completing a huge 19-yard pass to senior wide receiver Andrew Peacock in one play and following it up with a massive 40-yard pass to Tony Washington on the next, taking the Mountaineers all the way to the GSU 25-yard line. On the same drive in the top of the second quarter, Bryant brought App State back into the game by sneaking into the end zone, putting down six points on the board. Senior place kicker Drew Stewart made the PAT and tied the score at 7-7, almost a minute into the second quarter. On their next drive, Appalachian sophomore wide receiver Malachi Jones carried the ball for 20 yards in the GSU territory. An illegal blocking penalty called on the play against offensive lineman Shaq Counts brought the team back 15 yards. On the following play, freshman running back Marcus Cox carried the ball for 13 yards, but was penalized for 15 due to an unsportsmanlike conduct charge for inciting the crowd after the play's completion. Later that drive, Stewart kicked a 41-yard field goal, giving the Mountaineers a three-point lead with three minutes and 52 seconds left on the clock in the first half. GSU's next drive was short-lived and Apps was ruthless. Highlights include Cam Bryant breaching in the Eagle territory with a 17-yard rush, a 30-yard pass from Bryant to sophomore wide receiver Sims McElfresh, and lastly, Bryant's seven-yard rush into the end zone. Good for another Mountaineer touchdown and six more points on the board. Stewart converted the PAT, and the score was 17-7 App State, entering the second half. GSU quarterback Kevin Ellison missed his target with a lateral pass, fumbling the ball. The fumble was recovered by Appalachian junior inside linebacker Brandon McCohen, who's brought down at GSU's 36-yard line. Fueled by their own momentum, Cam Bryant didn't hesitate to pass the ball to Tony Washington for a gain of 24 yards in the play. After that, App was on fire as Marcus Cox ran the ball 12 yards past the Eagle defense and into the end zone for another Mountaineer touchdown. At this point, the crowd's roar was deafening as Stewart kicked another successful PAT, bringing the score to ASU 24, GSU 7 with 12 minutes and 53 seconds left in the third quarter. Following another short-lived drive by GSU, ASU continued to ensure their longevity on the field. Noteworthy plays include a 22-yard pass thrown by Bryant and caught by Peacock, preceding a 20-yard pass from Bryant to senior wide receiver Tony Washington, bringing the Mountaineers within scoring position on the Eagles. After a loss of six yards in an ASU timeout, Bryant connected with McElfresh on a nine-yard pass that just barely made its way into the end zone for another Mountaineer touchdown, putting six more points on the board. Stewart had no trouble kicking the PAT, and the score is 31-7 App State with seven minutes and 23 seconds left in the third quarter. After a succession of plays, Ellison dove through App's defense for the Eagles' second touchdown. Koo kicked in the PAT and the score inched up 31-14 App State with 2 minutes and 23 seconds left on the clock in the third quarter. An onside kick was attempted by freshman place kicker Alex Hanks. ASU tight end Jacob McCann fell on the ball, providing the Mountaineers with excellent field position on their next drive. On the third play of that drive, Bryant connected with Washington on a 29-yard pass to the end zone for the fifth and final touchdown for the Mountaineers. Stewart nailed the PAT and the score stood at 38-14 App State. Three and a half minutes into the fourth, a pass thrown by GSU's quarterback was intercepted by ASU sophomore defensive back Doug Middleton. After picking up 14 yards, Middleton was brought down by a GSU wide receiver. ASU's drive ended with a field goal attempt blocked by GSU freshman defensive lineman Bernard Dawson. The ball was recovered as a touchback for GSU. Inside of the end zone, GSU's fourth down conversion fell short by one yard, resulting in a turnover. With 14 seconds left on the clock, freshman punter Bentley Critcher kicked the ball to the Georgia Southern 32-yard line. The play was called with two seconds left on the clock. The last play was a two-yard rush by freshman quarterback Vegas Harley, leaving the final score at Appalachian State 38, Georgia Southern 14. This game was the Mountaineers' third straight win over future Sun Belt Conference rival Georgia Southern.
The now 2-6 Mountaineers will face the 6-2 Chattanooga Mocs on Saturday, November 2nd, right here at Kid Brewer Stadium.